Good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Egbe and today in my kitchen we're going to be making jollof rice. Jollof rice, if you're from Nigeria or Ghana or some other part of Africa country, you know what jollof rice is. That's the best food at any Nigerian party. So what we need for this jollof rice is, well, the style of the day rice and um, tomatoes and I'm going to be blending these tomatoes. And a few days was Thanksgiving, a few days ago was Thanksgiving, so I have my meat sauce from Thanksgiving so that I'm going to be using my tomato paste and butter for when the rice is done I'm going to add a little to it and my condiment that is a bouillon cube thyme and salt and um, let's go all right to start with I'm going to parboil my rice for about 10 to 15 minutes I'm just gonna add a little water to it not too much water and I'm just gonna parboil this rice for a bit. All right, when I'm letting my uh, rice parboil, I'm just gonna I'm just going to go ahead and blend my tomatoes. So that's the tomatoes I'm going to use for the sauce. So I have my tomatoes blended, and right now I'm going to throw a little onions in there. That is just gonna make you know, onions always make your food smell better. And I'm going to add the tomato paste to it and blend it for just a few seconds more. While I'm adding the tomato paste to it, is to kind of have it all blended together. And the tomato paste normally just makes your jollof rice a little more red. Okay guys, you can see that my rice is uh, parboiled now. So I'm just washing it and I'm going to drain out all this extra water and put it back on the stove and begin the cooking process with my meat sauce all right now that i've washed my rice my uh, parboiled it and washed out the first water now i'm going to add the meat sauce to kind of cook it all the way all right now i'm going to fry the tomatoes so i'm going to use to um cook my jollof rice so while i'm letting that pop for a few Seconds, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bouillon cube in there if I pour the tomatoes. And while that is kind of doing what it's doing right there, I'm going to pour in the, my tomatoes. Alright. Okay. okay, guys, you can see that my jollof rice has cooked uh, with the um, meat sauce. And I turn it all the way down so it won't start burning because um, jollof rice is notorious for that. So you can now see that my, my tomato sauce has been cooking. So now I'm going to add one teaspoon, tablespoon of dry pepper. So I'm using dry pepper. I'm not using fresh pepper. You can use fresh pepper if that's what you have. Right now I have dry pepper so that's what I'm using. So what I'm going to do now is just take this stew and add it to my jollof rice and start mixing it together. So I'm going to add and add and mix until I have the right color I want. And the color I want is that red party style, you know, marriage jollof rice. Okay guys, you can see that redness I was talking about, that Nigerian, Ghanaian jollof rice red. You know, if it's red, more red, the better. So now I'm going to add two, it's a little over two big tablespoon of butter. And just cover it up, uh, cover the pot and let it melt. So that is going to give it that distinct smell of jollof rice and the rice is already done so I'm just gonna let this butter melt and stir it together and take it off the stove okay guys you can see the jollof rice after the butter have melted inside and this is what it came out like okay guys this is the final product of my jollof rice you see I'm about to eat this one with a tall glass of coke and uh, I have a little coleslaw on the side and I'm going to use some turkey meat to do justice to that jollof rice 
and thanks for watching my videos and to my previous subscribers thank you to new subscribers thank you in advance and please like and share this video in all social platforms and please just stop by my channel some other time for more interesting recipes and other fun things have a good night bye bye